Hello and welcome to another update video about uh, QNT. So QNT is following at the moment the um, preferred wave structure, which indicates higher prices in the short term. There will be a resistance area that I talked about before because this chart is just not uh, overall great. Okay, but in the short term we have a resistance area that could be reached. Price is moving from support towards resistance. There has been some news, uh, I posted about that on X today, so feel free to check it out about why QNT is moving. In this video, however, um, so it just has to do with UK bonds and all sorts of stuff, so I don't want to go too much into detail here. You can check that out on our um, X profile. But what is important, I think what people are here for is the Elliott Wave structure. And I can only highlight to you that, I mean, the price has never broken below key support here between $49 and $58.60. The technique and also not below the invalidation point at $40 for a bullish 1-2 setup with a possible third wave to come in a larger C wave that can take us higher. Okay, so this is definitely still what I'm checking, considering, watching, but there is a possible bearish count as well that we just need to be aware of. And in this scenario, we're dealing with this wave too, but this isn't, um, I mean, in this scenario, we have a one, two, one, two setup, right? I have only marked it with a question mark, this bearish case, right? It's very important. Look better, um, it would probably even look better as a B wave, like an A, B, C structure, if we talk about the bearish wave count. All that means at the moment, uh, all that means at the moment is uh, please be careful in the resistance area, right? So as I explained in, I can't remember which video it was, one of the videos today I explained, like Elite Wave is like a map. It gives us key turning points, turning areas of reversal, where it might be useful to look for entries. At least it allows you to understand where is reward high and risk low. Now, naturally through that pump from support now, away from support, risk has increased because where do you put the stop, right? I mean, it's now moving. It just fits the overall market sentiment at the moment, which is why this acted just as a catalyst for a chart that was prepared, even though a fragile chart due to this kind of mess that we've seen. I mean, this chart hasn't really done much since 2022. And the problem is, because um, it was front running a bit, right? Between June and, and October 22, but you know, Bitcoin started the bull market here in October 22, roughly. So QNT since then hasn't really done much. So it's just been correcting all of Bitcoin's bull market. So maybe now in this short period between Bitcoin putting in a long term top uh, and um, well now and Bitcoin putting in a long term top, QNT has a chance. How far do we get? That's the key question, right? So all we can do is to highlight key support levels, which were respected. The pattern suggests that we could be moving up in an internal C wave now. Uh, and this is the third wave within a C wave, makes absolute sense. So a third wave can extend. So we have an A wave up into the September high, a B wave pullback into the November low. And this here is now the C wave up and it is an a, a one, two, three, which again, you know, is already extended, but that's normal in the current market situation. I think everybody's uh, familiar with that. And then we are now looking for um, support. I mean, you know, if anybody's scalping this or whatever, all I can do is um, give you the, the Fibonacci support, right? So in case wave four starts from here, support that needs to hold is between $75, no, $74.52 and $84.37. This is support because the 50% retracement of a third wave rally and it will have to be adjusted if the price pushes higher which it can absolutely do um you know it, it just has to be adjusted with the price but it's like a trailing stop it tells you when this rally is failing because whatever qnt is doing it shouldn't break below that 50 percent fib level until we have five waves because if it's a third wave and we get a fourth that fourth should not retrace more than 50 percent of the third so I hope that makes sense. What we can do in addition is identify some Fibonacci extensions that matter. Standard targets, the 100% extension already reached. So these are the relevant ones for the C wave. 
just standard extensions, but I cannot rule out that we go above, but the, these are just the, the standard extensions. $98 is the next one, 105 and 117, and this is support, and against support, we can still push higher. Let's see if more structure develops. Would be great to get a, a 4.5, then the B wave pullback could be the next opportunity. Uh, until then, if anybody wants to participate here in this market or in a chase, you can chase, but understand that $74 is key support in the short term. A better reward to risk will be the B wave pullback, but there's no, obviously you know, we have to finish now the C wave, right? We only uh, recently bottomed in, in the larger B wave in November and now it's moving. And uh, then people always ask, you know, when's the next opportunity? Well, it, it might be that internal fourth wave pullback when it happens um, or the larger B wave. So that's the update about q &T. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.